trying to do a nighttime Ant-Man video. I guess. I don't know, but I'm going to run out of time on this one. Oh, I read through some of the comments before I took off concerning all of this uh, community stuff concerning strength, strength standards, and all the stuff that's kind of floating around right now. And a lot of y'all were, you know, definitely in there talking, giving y'all's opinion. And I like, you know, I like a lot of the people who are like, oh, this is it. Duh, this is it. End the discussion. Duh, that's it. Wilk score. End the discussion. Oh, throw Jesse around like a rag doll. End the discussion. Uh, you know, all these little different things. End the discussion. No, no, no. We're going to, we're going to hopefully end the discussion tonight on Max's channel. Uh, you know, relative strength and the Wilkes, I really think that the community as a whole is leaving out some variables. Okay? So, I'm, I'm like, I'm summarizing all of it into one. So, I know you pick out one little thing and you, you got your little argument. You, you over here, you got your little argument. I got that. I am summarizing it all into one because people like Jesse they're throwing out oh I'm stronger than you I'm stronger than you I'm stronger than Dean oh I'm stronger than this guy or, or I think now he's saying he's stronger than Andrew Richards or something uh, and then someone else pops up and uh, you know we don't even need to bring up the names now tonight of the people that are bringing up all this nonsense I just want those people that are in the comment section who still keep saying ignorance to know you hold, I want you to hold on to that. Hold on to it. And when you, when you run across another weak individual in life, you who is weak and that individual who is weak, y'all can have a hug, okay? And y'all can hug it out and, and agree that you're both weak and be like, Oh, relative strength. I'm so much stronger. I'm so much stronger than the Hulk because I do two times my body weight. All right. So we're going to, we definitely going to pin Jesse out of the whole conversation though. Here's the deal, Jesse. No one, no one, Jesse, wants to be like you. No one. Can you deal with that? Nobody growing up in their right mind wants to say to themselves, Please, God, don't let me get taller. Please, God, don't let me fill out my frame. Please, God, don't let the growth hormones in my fucking head uh, operate so that I can get to the biggest and strongest that I can be. No one. That's a male that I know of. Okay? No one. No one is saying the things that is coming out of your mouth. No one. Uh, and then you got the, the little smart geek suckers on here. Uh, we'll score. All right, so we're going to leave their names out. And we'll just address everyone under the Goose name since Goose was the one that brought up the stupid Wilkes in the first place. There's nobody in the history of the world who, who said... Oh, oh, you know, uh, uh, before Wilkes, oh man, I want to be the strongest, smallest, medium type dude in the world, man. 
Oh, man, I can't. Oh, that's what I want, man. I wish there was some kind of scale. I wish there was a scale that would take age, weight, and all the deficiencies of the world and put them in there. So that's the variable. You're upset with God. You're mad at God and you're taking it out on everyone. Okay? God made us all different. Okay? We're not all going to be power lifters. Oh, relative strength. Re Nobody cares about your argument for your relative strength. Okay? Oh, well, that's, that's how the Wilk score came about. Because all of these weak people wanted to compete and somebody had to adjust the rules so that one man like Julius Maddox doesn't own it all forever. Do you not understand that? There's a competition, let's say in Kentucky, okay? Let's say in California. Let's say in New York. And a guy bench presses. Okay, do you understand? He bench presses 750 pounds. You cannot call that guy the best in the world just because Julius Maddox is fucking sunbathing down in Florida. Okay? You can't do it. Julius Maddox would win every competition everywhere across the face of the fucking globe. But to make it fair, to make it fair for all the little whiny Jessies who are out there who are fucking crying. <laughs> I want my trophy. You ain't getting no damn trophy. You cried your way into it, just like fucking DT did with the cookie earlier, okay? And so they had to make exceptions and say, okay, uh, Maddox can't come to this competition. And only the people who show up. Is that is that a goddamn fact, Jesse? Is that a fucking reality just because the dude didn't show up? Just because he didn't walk through the door disqualified him from being the best in the world and that every other motherfucker wanted to be like him. Every other human being, no matter how small, no matter how fucking big, wants to bench press the 800 pounds this man's going to do. And that's the end of the story, Jesse. That is the end of the fucking story. That is the end. Nobody wants to be like you except for poverty people who are only got a certain things that they can hold on to. Just like every other person that commented tonight. Every other person. Oh, I'm weak at this lift or I'm hurt over here or I can't do that. And it's just all excuses it's all excuses after excuses until they made a Wilkes calculator and those are fucking excuses. Every kid wants to be the strongest. And when you're in the gym, when you're in any fucking gym, and I'm the one, I'm the one, and I've been, I've been blessed. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. I, I stop. I stop groups of people, Jesse. They stop and watch me. I've had people bring their kids up and watch me bench press, Jesse. But I ain't ever seen a group of people stand around and, and look at this little guy who's like 180 pounds and go, Hey, Oh, look at him with his relative strength. He look he he's benching look what he's benching uh he's benching the warm up of what this guy does. Yeah. If you uh, try your hardest kids, 
You can be average. I've never heard that. I've never seen it. I don't want to see it. That's the end of this video. If you miss something, you need to talk to God. Because you are unhelpable at this point. I broke it down for you. I broke it down. Julius Maddox is the one that everyone wants to beat on the bench press. And, and, and if you want a powerlifting number, you know, we'll find, I'll find you the person with the highest powerlifting total and I'll give you that name. You know, I know Larry Wheels has something like that, but there's some other people. Uh, Mark Henry, I think, has some shit that's pretty fucking high. You know, we'll get you some really high professional numbers that you'll never, ever see in your whole existence. But you keep going at it. You know, keep going at it, Jesse. Have a wonderful night. I hate to have five community hater videos in one day, but why not?